Hello everyone, good afternoon. I am Florence, the organizer. Welcome to our webinar uh, on uh, online contouring and evaluation for education uh, with David, our CEO and R&D manager. And uh, please note that this session is recorded and at any given time you can uh, raise a hand or send us your questions or comments uh, on the chat section or in the question section of your panels. And, and I'm, I'm turning the presentation over to you, David. Thank you very much, uh, Florence, for this uh, introduction. And uh, welcome to this webinar on uh, online contouring and evaluation for education. So I will uh, remove my camera just uh, to have a, a full view of the presentation. So first of all, before uh, uh, beginning on uh, online education, uh, just uh, a few words about uh, Aquilab. So Aquilab is a French SME, uh, which develops uh, advanced software solution to improve the quality in cancer treatment. Uh, so we first have uh, uh, tools to improve the quality assurance of medical devices with our RT-Scan solution dedicated to machine QA and imaging QA. And then we also have tools to improve expertise with RTView software for preparation and evaluation of uh, radiotherapy treatment. We are also mainly involved in clinical studies to better evaluate new strategy based on our SharePlace platform uh, that centralizes and analyzes imaging and radiotherapy data. And you will uh, find on our website uh, uh, multiple webinars on these different topics. But today we are going to talk about uh, education and uh, how to improve the training of uh, radiation oncology professional. Uh, so we will present you the web contouring platform uh, that we developed in collaboration uh, with the Christie Hospital in Manchester and, uh, and Professor Marcel Van Erck. And uh, so with this platform, we organize a lot of workshop and we also have some activity in advance uh, on-site training. So this um, web, uh, Platform for Education is uh, integrated in our Aquilab SharePlace platform uh, to provide some uh, online contouring tool, but also some uh, way to uh, evaluate the, uh, the contouring. So in fact, we have in this platform uh, a web contouring tool in which you can incorporate any image, CT, MRI, PET, uh, so we, I will give you a, a demo just after. Uh, based on the contours, we also integrate in the system uh, a gold standard contour, so we can have evaluation tools to compare uh, each contours to the expert one. Uh, we can have online questionnaire, for example, in the context of uh, uh, professional uh, education if we want to make an exam or things like that. And we can also integrate some e-learning modules. So to have a full platform for education, including e-learning, uh, contouring tool and online questionnaire also. The, all these tools are uh, web-based tool. Uh, we can also uh, see that these tools are compatible with our on-site software if we want to do some more uh, advanced contouring, for example. And um, also this platform is connected to our RTView Structure Check uh, software that also have, you can have a demo also online on the website that can centralize all the contours done and to make a global evaluation between all, uh, all participants. So to show you a little bit how it works, um, we uh, go and connect to, to our platform. So each uh, user has a personal uh, login password and uh, can access to different projects. So I will uh, go here in the web contouring workshop, for example. So I just put a posted case. And 
we can have a uh, different uh, way as i told you before for example in the information uh, we can give some details about the the exercise but also give access to a to a simple case uh, to a sample case for sorry so here you see we have uploaded the ct the two mri we have the sagittal reconstruction and we have the different controls which are already done. It's a sort of atlas. So the users can uh, look at the different structures, remove them. So he can decide, for example, just to see the CT or to see the CT and one MRI. And uh, the system can easily make some uh, zoom to change slices, uh, to change the windows level. There is also some, uh, uh, some preset uh, for the windows level. And we will see after for countering, we will be able to change the, the size of the brush. So this is the uh, online here visualization. So now I can go to the um, online countering. So I go to my uh, exercise. Uh, so here, I can uh, download a complete description of the clinical size if I want, and I can go to initiate my contouring. So I have my case, um, and uh, I have already done one contour, so it, it has been saved in my session. Okay, uh, so you see here, you can save a session, you can clear if you want, and you can submit your contour. So when you submit your contour, you it's not possible to 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 modify anymore so in that case of uh, prostate i have to control the ctv the rectum uh, the bladder and uh, to make the ptv so i already shown you all the tools we can have so for example i can only keep two image and i'm going to control my uh, ctv so i can easily change the slice Okay, so you see here you have the brush you can use to contour. Here you can modify the brush size if you want. So I'm going to go to this slide, so I'm not a doctor, so sorry about that. And then you can just add this like this to make the contouring very simple. You can make then some modification on the MRI if you want. Uh, you see here my um, my brush is green so that means i can add part of the contour somewhere if i'm just outside i can remove part of my contouring and if i'm really far away i can create a new one so uh, you see it's very uh, very easy to uh, modify a contour or to add and i can do that on my multiple uh, view so here I've done my contour on my on my prostate, so I'm going to add something here. Now I can go to the rectum, so it's the same. You can contour on the CT, but you can also contour on the fused MRI or make the modification on the MRI if you want. So I will only do uh, two slices just for the demo, and three slices. Uh, then go to the bladder. Okay. So here I have control my bladder on some slices, my prostate, uh, my rectum. And for the PTV, I can have here, uh, I can do an expansion. So I choose, for example, the CTV as uh, original structures. I define uh, the target is the PTV, and I define the value of uh, my uh, expansion. So you see, it's a very, uh, very simple tool uh, to do the contouring. So there is no need uh, of a lot of, uh, of training, um, and uh, everything is done on the mouse. Okay, so I have finished my contour, so then I can submit. Uh, so we say that after this action, I will not be able to eat anymore. Okay, I save this. 
uh, just to show that I am not that far. Okay. And I validate my control. Okay. So uh, when I uh, finalize to uh, do my contouring, uh, the system is doing the evaluation comparing to the expert controls, but I can already uh, uh, visually uh, review my controls compared to the expert. Okay, so here I have all my controls and I can add on this, uh, uh, the control of the expert. So, for example, the control of the CTV. Okay, not very good on this one. Uh, I can add the control of the rectum, and so I can visually compare my control to the control of the uh, of the expert on all the uh, different slides. So, this is, for example, for uh, for the bladder. Okay. So that's the visual inspection of my controls. And I also have, maybe it's finalized now, I'm just going to refresh. Okay, my control has been evaluated, so I can have a PDF report that I can open. And in this PDF report, I have uh, the volume of my different structures uh, compared to the reference volume. And I also have some indexes which are calculated. So I have the overlap ratio, uh, the dice similarity coefficient. So you see that on my CTV, I have a dice of 0 0.56. And this dice is calculated automatically. So that means that if you are, for example, in the context of exam, um, you could uh, say to the, to the participant that he has to redo the contouring until you reach uh, a certain level of dice. I also have the common volume and the supplementary volume. I also have the Onsdorf distance uh, between the, uh, the CTV, the rectum and the bladder, and I have some uh, a screenshot uh, of the uh, principal uh, uh, slices. So this is an example of report, uh, of course, uh, uh, everything can be customized depending on the project uh, you can have for using this web contouring tool. So uh, that's almost what I wanted to show you. Uh, and uh, if you have any needs about more details, questions or something to, to, to create a project, of course, we are at your uh, full disposal to discuss, uh, to discuss about it. Thanks again. I don't know, Florence, if uh, you have some, uh, maybe some question from the from the audience or? Yes, thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you for uh, participating. So we had had a question. We had a question. The first one is, uh, can you compare more than two contours? So in the online platform, uh, Today, we only compare two controls, so the control of the participant compared to the expert one. But uh, as I mentioned before, for example, if you do an online contouring workshop, uh, we can uh, upload the controls of uh, all the participants to be able to make a global evaluation between uh, all participants. Okay, thank you. And the second one. Is uh, our contours available in DICOM? Yes, the contours, uh, when uh, the contouring is done, the contour can be exported in DICOM RT. So that's the way we use the contour in uh, RT view structure check to do the global evaluation. These contours are uh, in fact available in, uh, in DICOM RT structures. Okay. And that's it for the questions. Okay, so thanks again, Florence, for, for animating this uh, short webinar on uh, online contouring. And uh, we remain, of course, at your entire disposal for any question. Thanks again, and uh, have a nice day. Nice day. Bye-bye.